Welcome back to Color in Canvas, our second episode of Scrape It or Save It. This lovely straight pour that you're seeing is the painting that came before the horrible painting that we needed to scrape or save. So let me describe what's happening. Uh, these colors are all metallic paints mixed with water and glue. And our experiment on this one was adding a little bit of Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner to each color. The problem was, though, and this was a totally rookie mistake on my part, was that these paints had sat while I painted that painting that you just saw at the beginning of the video. Um, the paints had thickened up. As you can see, they're about a half ounce of paint, so it did not take long for that paint to thicken. And I should have added a few drops of water and stirred them again. I did not. That was my error. So I added the Minwax in. These paints just got thicker and weirder and they did not respond the way that we were hoping they would when we did the straight pour on here. So <laughs> we end up with this absolutely hideous pour. Um, there was, it had no redeeming features in my opinion. The silver took over from the whole thing. There were no cells. You know, there's a couple of pretty areas here and there, but for the most part, it was quite awful. And, uh, you know, let's scrape it or save it. I mean, I hate scraping. I will scrape when there are no other options, but I much prefer to try something to save it with. So uh, here we go, our episode number two of Scrape It or Save It. Let's see how we ended up saving this canvas. There's nothing here worth saving. I mean, this part is quite beautiful. This part is quite beautiful, but... Everything in the middle is quite awful. Quite awful. So what do we do? What can we do? Can we save it? Can we play Scrape It or Save It? Yes, let's play Scrape It or Save It, episode number two. Uh, we are going to grab some extra paints and uh, our hair dryer and see whether we can save this awful pour and make it into something good. Here we go. I have a few colors that I had mixed from before. Anytime I have a little bit of metallic paint mixed and left over, I put it in a cup with a coordinating color. So, what do we have here? Let's stir it and see. <laughs> so we have kind of a peachy pink. That's lovely. And here we have yellow and gold mixed together. And I think there was some copper mixed in because it's definitely a little more orangey than normal. Okay, so we have some yellow, gold, and copper, and this is definitely mixed blues. Oh man, that cup even looks beautiful. Okay, so this is mixed blues. Many different colors. Let's see what it becomes when we stir it together. So all of these are metallics. Some of them are mixed with Floetrol. Some of them are mixed with glue and water because I put a few drops of our, left, our extra paint that we just had in here. So we have three beautiful thin pastel colors. Ooh, whatever can we do with it? So I was mixing together some white, for lack of a better term, cell accelerator. So I put some Amsterdam titanium white paint in my cup about a teaspoon of paint, about a teaspoon of Floetrol, and then a little bit of extra water, maybe about another half teaspoon of water. This paint blend is really, really thin. I mean, drippy thin, but it is the Amsterdam Titanium White. And that's what we're gonna to use to pour on top of our other paints for our saving technique. So here we go. And the other thing I'm gonna use is some leftover mixed golds that I had the other day. So here goes. I'm going to pour a little bit of our blue down. A little bit of our yellow, your yellow gold. A little bit of our pink and gold, pink and red and whatever other colors we have in there. So we have a good, good puddle going of those colors. Now I'm going to drizzle on a little bit of gold. A 
and our white, our thinned white. You can see it's watery. That's how we want it, right in the middle. And we get our hair dryer, take off the concentrator, and blow right in the middle. Here we go. Put the concentrator on. And blow out those edges. Now, isn't that better than the monstrosity that was underneath it? I should say so. That is much nicer than what we just had. And that all that extra paint facilitated the moving around of all this new paint. So it was like we had a multicolored base coat helping us along. Fantabulous. Okay. I think we'll do some puffs of air to break that up. That'll break up. There'll be some more cells in there. All right. We'll be back in just a second. show you whether or not the save was good. I'm going to say right now I'm going on the record to say that it's going to look good. And we'll be right back. Ah, we got a little action in the middle here. All right, we're going to set it aside to dry. It's going to take a while for the rest of it to do its thing, and we'll be right back. All right, so I've set this canvas aside to dry. You can see there are some beautiful details on here, lots of lacing, even a few little specks where that Minwax uh, made a few extra cells for us. Um, in the very middle, where we blew and concentrated most of the air, there's a few little spots that are actually showing bare canvas, and that is a risk when you use thin paint and that much air, right, and concentrate it. So I'm just going to touch those up when it's dry and fill them in, and it's going to look awesome. Thanks again for watching our episode of Scrape It or Save It. Hope you got some ideas for saving some of yours, too. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.